Welcome to Rad Builds, everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make Gore the God Butcher Sword from Thor Love and Thunder. Now, this sword is made mostly from foam, so if you're looking to make a scary and dangerous sword, I'm afraid this video might not be for you. But you can keep on watching, and I'm sure you'll find it interesting. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you how to make Gore the God Butcher's Necker Sword. To start, you will need to trace out piece number one onto three or four millimeter craft foam. Now you will need to use an X-Acto knife to cut halfway through the foam at an angle towards the center on the lines marked on the pattern. Once you have done that, you can tear out those strips. Once you've done that, you can use a knife to cut out both of the piece number ones. Once those pieces are cut out, put contact cement in the divot and then squish the contact cement together. Now use contact cement again and paint the tip of the inside of both of the piece number ones. Once that is dry, you can push both the points of the piece number ones together. To help the sword keep its shape, I'm going to be using a 4 foot Vigoro stake and I'm going to be using an X-Acto knife and cutting off all the green skin. Once that is done, you should just have a metal pole left behind. And to attach this, I'm just going to hot glue it on the inside of the piece number ones. To make the cross guard, you will need to cut out three of the piece number twos out of 10 millimeter foam and then super glue those together. Now you will need to cut out two of the piece number threes and glue those around the cross guard. Now you need to drill a hole in the cross guard so that it will fit onto the metal stake. After that, cut out piece number 4 out of 2mm foam and glue that in the middle of the cross guard. And you will do this on both sides. Now you will need to trace out piece number 5 onto poster board and then use an X-Acto knife and score the poster board along the lines marked. Then you can cut out the piece number 5s. Now you will need to bend the poster board along the score lines so that the divot faces downwards. After that, I reinforce the bends with some super glue. Now this is a bit of overkill, but because Gore the God Butcher's sword is so beaten up and scraped, I wanted to cut up the piece number 5 so that they better resemble it. Now you will need to glue on piece number 6, and don't forget to bevel the edge to a point to resemble the sharpness of the sword. And I decided to cut up piece number 6 so that it better resembles the damage that the real sword has taken. After that, you can glue on the poster board fragments of piece number 5 onto the sword and make sure you do this on both sides. Now we can finally glue on the cross guard to the sword using some hot glue.
For the handle, I'm going to be using 3 quarter inch PVC pipe, but unfortunately the inside of the PVC pipe is too wide, see? So to fix that, I'm going to be using some 2 millimeter foam wrapping it around the metal stake so that it is wide enough that the PVC pipe will fit snugly over top. Now I just slid the PVC pipe over top of the foam. Now this was supposed to be a test foot and I was supposed to take this off and then add some glue and then put it back on. But it fits so well that I decided to just leave it there and glue it just at the top. Then I decided it might also be a good idea to add some hot glue inside the end of the 12 inch PVC pipe to help it keep from sliding off. Now you can attach piece number 7 around the PVC pipe next to the cross guard using some super glue. Now you will need to super glue pieces 9, 10, and 11 on top of Piece number eight. You will need to make this piece twice and you will need to glue one on either side of the cross guard. To make the pommel, I'm going to start out by using a foam cat toy and that'll go on the end of the metal pipe, but I will need to first drill a hole in the center of it. Once that was done, I could hot glue the cat toy onto the metal pipe. After that, I wrapped around piece number 12 around the cat toy and the PVC pipe and glued that on. Now you will add super glue to the piece number 13s on their edges and attach all four of them together. And once you have completed this, it should create a dome shape. After that, you can super glue the dome over top of the cat toy. Now you will need to glue on piece number 14 around the edge of the PVC pipe next to piece number 12 and just wrap that around. You will need to repeat this process for a second ring. Now I am going to be using a Dremel and sanding down the differences in the foam to make it much more smooth. Now the final part, also kind of the sad part before painting, is you will need to beat up the sword. This is not necessary, but it will make the sword look much more realistic. And I'm going to be using a Dremel to do this and just lightly tapping, but making sure that it does make grooves into the sword on all the foam pieces and the poster board. I'm also going to use an X-Acto knife to make sure I get some good deep cuts into the sword. Now you will need to heat up all the foam pieces with a heat gun and this will help seal the foam and prep it for painting. Now we will need to tape off the PVC pipe and the poster board so that we can prime only the foam pieces with some black plastic spray paint. After that, you can remove the tape from the PVC pipe. Now you can tape off some more of the blade so that we can coat only the handle with some gold spray paint. 
The reason we are spray painting it gold is because I found in reference images that the handle had a bronze tint to it. Now you can remove the tape from the blade and then after that we will coat the blade in a coat of silver spray paint. Once that is dry you can coat the entire sword in a dark metallic rustic iron spray paint. and then leave that to dry for quite a while. You can black wash this sword, but I decided against it because it was so dark already that I decided it wasn't necessary. And if you do decide to make this sword, you can tag me on Instagram at radbuilds3000. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe and hit that notification bell to receive alerts about any of my new video releases. There are free templates in the description which you can print out and make your own necker sword with. And if you're interested in making a necro sword, you might be interested in making one of my other props, Stormbreaker, which is cool because if you hit a button, it'll light up with lightning. Or maybe I can interest you in Steve Harrington's bat from Stranger Things. But as always, you can find all these videos on my channel, Rad Builds.